Hello everyone, so this is the very first lecture, so I call this lecture Zero Reef Introductions to Linear Algebra. So let's analyze the meaning of the linear algebra. So first, linear means uh, has something to do with lines or flats or straight. And the linear algebra is the algebra of linear equations whose solutions are lines or planes. Okay, so that's the starting point for our linear algebra term. Okay, so let me write down the information. So linear means to do with lines. Uh, this is mean flat or not meaning that that is straight. And the word linear algebra is the algebra of linear equations or later on we will find out that is the algebra of system of linear equations um, but for now we just say that is just the algebra of linear equations whose solutions are lines uh, all points. Okay. Um, so when we talk about lines, it's a straight line involving equations like y equal to mx plus b. That is the case of two-dimensional lines. Or you can have the solutions that has three components or three uh, um, a system of three coordinates, right? So they have uh, the solutions in terms of planes. This is the case of three-dimensional solutions. So in other words, linear algebra expresses or formalizes some of the fundamental uh, geometry in an algebraic way, right? Because the solutions we have is lines, we can visualize that, or planes, we can also visualize that. Um, so in other words, uh, linear algebra, in a way, expresses all formal lines. some of the fundamental geometry in an algebraic way. Um, and of course, we can visualize the 2D uh, plane or 2D light, or you can visualize 3D plane or 3D space. But we cannot actually visualize objects or things that is in more than three dimensions. So that's the cool thing about linear algebra. Even though you cannot visualize things that has more than three dimensions, we can actually still be able to do some algebra related to that. Right? So we know that we can visualize a 2D plane or 3D space, right. but we cannot visualize uh, objects or things um, in more than three dimensions. Um, and that's again the cool thing about linear algebra because linear algebra uh, can still solve uh, for the solutions um, of system uh, of linear equations. in higher dimensions. Um, so 
so that's a good thing again that's a good thing about linear algebra and because of that has a wide range of applications in real life situations uh, we can use linear algebra to uh, get the pattern recognitions um, for image processing we're gonna talk a little bit about that um, we you probably heard a lot about machine learning and computer computer graphics or data analysis right all those professions use the information or use the technique learned in a linear algebra so this um, very important concept very important course um, in mathematics in general okay um, so I, I want to give you a quick information about uh, the applications of linear algebra that this is just one of the applications there are many many applications in reality um, so the first application is the numerical processing image right so the idea of this application is you take a high quality image and compress the size right. um, so the algorithm select which information to keep right. so the algorithms will select uh, which information Kit. Right. Um, so because you don't have so to store the um, one of the example that I see a lot in in my everyday work is that for online homework or online written homework um, student used to work on the piece of paper and then they scan the uh, paper to me send it to me via email but sometimes the uh, the file that I received is very heavy um, and because it store a lot of information, unnecessary information um, in the scan. So what I do is I will run this scan or this file to uh, through an algorithm or you know an online software so that is read use the sign is compress the sign is remove on the unnecessary informations um, of the scan of the image so that it still keep the informations that I need and at the same time reduce the size of the file right. so that one applications and now the application is image processing right um, um, we're going to talk about uh, that in a minute but uh, let's say that an image is an array or uh, you will learn later uh, about matrices but at this point I want to mention that an image is an array or a matrix um, of squares pixels right, right, which is the element of um, pick of a picture right. at range in columns and rows right in a way this is the definitions of a matrix right but whatever you see on the screen um, or whatever you take when you uh, wherever you have when you take a picture um, the picture is stored in a file in term of an array or a matrix and they are arranged all the information are arranged in columns and rows uh, so for example in this case uh, you have the image of a flower if you zoom in uh, to the image right, zoom closer to the image you can see that this is just a representation of a bunch of pixels all right so um, the next bullet is that a digital image is made of uh, numerous pixels right. each pixel has a symbol um, sorry has a single color 
and those colors uh, can be represented by some numerical values. So as you can see, a black and white image here, and for each um, is to it get divided into multiple squares, and each square or each pixel carry one color, uh, and each color can be assigned a numerical value. Um, black and white image. Oh, black and white images are easier to analyze. Uh, because um, you can assign a black to be a zero, um, um, to be zero in, uh, sorry, black can, black pixel can be uh, assigned to be, has a numerical one and the white pixel can be assigned to have a numerical value zero. So black pixel can be one and white pixel um, can be zero right. and if you have a shade of braid um, are between zero and one Um, so if you use the um, um, an, a social media account, if you use Instagram, if you use Facebook or any social media account at all, and you have a picture and you want to upload picture on Facebook or Instagram, and before you upload, you want to make some editing yourself that make you happy later on, right? So what they do is that they use something called the image kernel to actually modify this original image right you can sharpen the image you can um, impose it the image or you can just uh, get the outline of the image uh, it's not necessarily the original image anymore right so the image kernel is the small array and of course another name for that is the matrix right. used to apply uh, effect like the one we find in Photoshop Facebook or Instagram right editing software so um, here I have the black and white image right? so this is the original pictures or the original image uh, for this particular picture um, the process is to sharpen the image and the image kernel that they used to do this had this form. Um, so again, eventually we're gonna uh, learn about matrices, the notation of matrices and how to do it. But at this point, hopefully just accept the, the notations um, and just, this is just the motivations for linear algebra. Right? So the image kernel or the matrix that they used to sharpen the image is zero, negative one, zero negative one five negative one zero negative one zero okay um so how would they come up with that that's not the um uh, the point of, of of this particular lecture it's just that again this is just the motivations for linear algebra and the applications behind linear algebra okay so they use this image kernel to sharpen the original matrix uh the original image Right. So to impose um, the, the image or the pictures, they use the kernel of the form 
negative 2, 1, 0, negative 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2. Right, so this all of these matrices, all, all of these kernels are already given, um, and you just um, you don't have to worry about where it's coming from. Okay. So if you just want to have the outline of the image, um, the image kernel that get used in this particular case is negative one, negative one, negative one, negative one, eight, negative one, negative one and so on and so forth right so there are two applications that we see that kind of works for our everyday life situations the first one is to compress an image right so um, the example that i give is that when you scan a document send it to email sometimes it's get heavy so you can compress the size of the image so that it just all it just only store the necessary information and remove un all the unnecessary information out of the file. Um, another one is the image processing that allow you to uh, modify the original image to the need uh, to your need. Okay, and again, of course, another application is that it's very um, that. At this point very much is the very hot topic uh, is the machine learning right so in order to get to the top of the machine learning you need a lot of course work right including including regressions including dimensionality reductions uh, density and estimations classifications all right so at this point of course you don't need to worry about any of this at all right um it's just that i just want to mentioned that in order to get to machine learning this are the coursework that you need to go through right um and in addition to that you need to build a very strong background strong foundations uh, of coursework to help you learn um, these four topics advanced topics right and the background information that you need to learn including something called the vector calculus um, the probability um, optimizations um, and of course the very basic level that you need to know is of course linear algebra and right next to that or including in the linear algebra is the analytic geometry and of course matrix decompositions All right um so we of course spend the entire course to learn about linear algebra and things related to that as well as part of the linear algebra uh, topics that we're going to do include matrix decompositions and what type of decompositions so we're going to learn in the later course All right um so that's it for this particular uh, lecture. It's just a brief introduction to linear algebra. So again, linear means uh, flat, straight, or to do with lines. Linear algebra is the algebra of system of linear equations. Okay, and we went over a couple of example in real real life situations. Okay, um, so let me stop right here. Let me know if you have any questions.